What's up you guys, welcome back. I'm finally gonna be breaking down my MAC eyeshadow palettes. I have two here that I've put together. I've got my warm palette and I've got my cool palette. I put these together last summer. Basically my whole mentality around it was I miss creating your own custom palettes like this. It used to be so huge in the beauty industry and especially MAC eyeshadows in particular because I feel like MAC was one of the first brands that really jump-started and kicked off the whole beauty industry into what it is today. They were the first shadows that ever came out that were like artistry coveted type of a brand. You know what I'm saying? So MAC was one of the first brands that I ever fell in love with. It was one of the first brands that I ever wanted makeup from. Then as the industry grew, different palettes came out. I fell in love with Makeup Geek. That was like my go-to brand for eyeshadows and creating custom palettes like this. Now that Makeup Geek is no longer, I wanted to find that love and passion for eyeshadows again. And MAC was the brand that I thought of. So I went and placed a huge order last year, put my palettes together, and these are what I came up with. So I'm gonna break them down for you today. I'm gonna go into the warms and the cools and share what my go-to shades are. I, I planned on filming this last year but I'm glad that I actually waited because now that it's been so much time I can genuinely say that I really do love the choices that I made there's maybe one shade in here that I don't really like um, and the only reason why is because it's similar to another one but I'll get into that when we get but I love these I love like the other day I was doing my makeup I was doing a smoky eye kind of like this and something that I miss about having a palette like this that I put together is being able to bounce around into, diff into different shades and mix shades together dab a little bit of this dab a little bit of this and I used to do that for years and then palettes like pre-made palettes became back in back to being popular and I feel like it's just gonna constantly ebb and flow but I'm here to show you what are in these palettes today these are not like pre-made palettes. I customized them. I think the palette itself was like five or $10. It's empty and then I popped the shades in here. So I'm gonna open these up, share what each shade is, give you a swatch. I do have to say, MAC swatches are just not it. So don't judge the shadow based on how on the way that it swatches, that's not really a good indicator of how an eyeshadow is gonna perform on the eyes because let me tell you, these are amazing on the eyes. They blend so beautifully, they are so pigmented, they're very buildable, so it's very easy to control, especially if you're a beginner. It's easy to use these types of shadows because you can apply it on the eye and then build up your color as opposed to applying it on the eye. It's way too pigmented and now you have to somehow erase what you just did, which is near impossible. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. MAC just gives me so much nostalgia. It gives me all the warm fuzzies and I just love the brand. I'm gonna break this down for you. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. So I'm gonna start with my warm eyeshadow palette. I think most people like warms. Also, the other thing with MAC too is they don't have a lot of like warm warm shadows I have some here but if you took away these orangey shades right here that looks pretty neutral you know what I mean so I feel like a lot of their warm shades do pull more cool even um, you know that I love cool tones but um, yeah most of these shadows I have purchased in pan form like this where it's just the shadow like this that you can pop in this shadow for instance is very loosey-goosey because it came in a compact form you can buy it like that as well um, but I depotted it so I melted the packaging and pulled this out of it but by doing that it's just not as sturdy in here so when I lift this up this one is bouncing around because that's one that I did that too but Let's get into it. I'm gonna put this up close so you can see it up close. Oh my gosh, this is giving me old school vibes. I love this. It's literally, I got butterflies. Okay, so the first shade that we are gonna start with is nylon, this shade right here. I could tell already that that's the one that it is. This is a warm toned, almost like a golden highlight. This is beautiful for the inner corners on the eye or up on the highlight. You can even use this to highlight the face if you have more fair skin. It does pull more golden. I'd say golden to neutral because it is pretty icy too. It's <laughs> horrible descriptions. Um, have fun figuring it out. I love this, it's extremely frosty. If you want that high pigment frost, this is gonna give it to you. Next up, we have Yes to Sequins. This is a newer formula to MAC, so I'm not as familiar with it. This is more of a beigey shimmer with a little bit of like a pink reflect to it. I'll be honest, I haven't used, used this one a lot, but 
it's making me want to. I've got it here on the back of my hand and it has like that shift where in one light it'll look more gold and then in the other light it'll look more pink. And then we have All That Glitters. This one is classic. It's like soft shimmery beige with almost like a pinky hue to it. It reminds me a lot of Naked Lunch. Naked Lunch I think is more bronzy. I actually don't have that shade but I back in the day that was so popular but i ended up getting this one because i felt like it was a little bit more universal especially for my skin tone personally um but yeah this gives like a nice beigey shimmer beautiful br for brides I like this could also work as a highlight too depending on your skin tone so all that glitters next we have woodwinked i can tell by the way that it looks this is a soft bronzy color very light though too it's not gonna be like too dark this would be a beautiful all over the lid shade if you want more of that bronzy look if you have a skin tone similar to mine if you have a deeper skin tone this is still gonna be a beautiful all over the lid shade you can even use this to highlight if you have a deeper skin tone just gorgeous and i do also want to say that this is not like your foiled eyeshadow formula this is a uh, old school shimmer, but it's classic. It's still something that looks so beautiful on brides. This, oh my God. It's just natural, but beautiful all at the same time. So I love this shade. It's such a classic. The, all of that glitters, this one woodwinked, and then the next one are all very classic. The next one is mulch. This is mulch. I use this in conjunction with woodwinked all the time because I'll put this one closer on the outer corner. A beautiful warm bronze shade, just gorgeous. Same kind of finish, that shimmer, but like not too overly shimmery, not too foiled. You can use it with a flat brush. You can wet your brush with it, but I feel like you really don't need to because it's just gonna be soft regardless, but just a beautiful, beautiful classic bronzy shade. The next up we have Amber Lights, another classic. This, ooh, this is one that I used on a lot of clients when I used to work at MAC, and if you had a deeper skin tone, I would pop this on your eye, and oh my gosh, it was stunning. This is very golden, very, not so much bronzy, but very much golden. Like if you're gonna do like a golden bronze shade, pop this in the center, oh, so stunning. I love this. It has almost like that yellowy hue to it, like a yellowy orange, depending on like what shades you use with this, like say you did more orangey with this, it would pop the orange out, but if you did more browns and chocolates, it would make this look more, oh my God, I keep like almost dropping these. If you pair this with more like warm chocolates, it would look more bronzy. Okay, on to the next row, we have this matte color here. This is brulee. This is a beautiful base color for skin tones similar to mine. This is a beautiful highlight shade. Um, just like a, your classic matte cream, honestly. Um, I feel like I don't use this all that much, but then when you need it, you've got it and it's perfect to pop in your palette. And now we have a range of very, very similar shades. Like this one, this one, this one, this one, all very similar. I feel like I'm gonna be bouncing around and I'm sorry but it will make sense in my brain. I'm gonna grab this one and then we'll do like, we'll start here, here, and then go to these. I know it's gonna be weird, but it will make sense. So this one is tea to tint. It's kind of like a beigey rose color. It's very similar to the other ones I'm about to show you. This is something where when I was shopping online, it was hard to decipher what I was gonna want because one of my favorite shades from MAC is Soft Brown, which you're gonna see, I think, next. Um, and this is very similar to it. I don't think if you had one or the other that you would need the other one, but I wanted to pair all of these in this order so you could really compare them next to each other because they are so similar. So putting that one back here, I'm gonna go into Soft Brown, which is one of my most used shades in all of makeup. It's so beautiful. I feel like everyone would love this shade. It's so gorgeous in the crease. It's great as um, just an all over wash. It reminds me of like a bronzery shade. This one is warmer with like a rosy tint, but it's, it's just stunning. I love this. It's such a classic. And if you had to choose between this and any of the other shades that are similar to this, I would just do this one because it's, it's so classic. I'm gonna do this shade next. You know, sorry, I'm like hopping all over. This is What Clout. This is, again, a similar one, but this one is more warm and orangey. It has more of that orangey hue. So also, depending on your skin tone, if you have a little bit more deepness to your skin than me, say you're like a medium to tan skin tone, you'd probably prefer this over soft 
brown because soft brown is more geared to my to my skin tone um but again so beautiful i feel like this is different enough from those two if you did want like a full variety palette i think you could have this and either soft brown or tita tint but like tita tint and soft brown are like so similar so Yes, this one was what clap. And then this next one is like a little bit cooler toned. This one is called Wedge. This is such a classic. It's um, a more neutral to cool toned brown, but it fits more in my warm tone palette. This, again, like say you are more fair, you'd probably like Wedge more than something like Soft Brown or Tita Tint or What Clout. So yeah, keep that in mind. Again, like a, these are all matte by the way, a nice matte, neutral. Okay, back on track into the row. Next, I have Cork. This is just a little bit darker than Wedge. Um, it's great if you're going to be doing like a smoky eye similar to what I have on now, where you just like mix 500 shades together to get a nice blown out smoky eye where everything kind of just like works together. Um, cork is just, again, a little bit darker than Wedge. It's going to give you that nice gradient and just a nice neutral brown shadow. Okay, and next we have Espresso, this is a beautiful espresso brown. This would be great in your eyebrows. A nice matte shade, great for the outer corner. Just stunning. Also great if you wanna do like a smoky eyeliner, if you're doing like a black winged liner and you wanna like smoke it out, this would be beautiful. Just a nice neutral espresso brown. It's like the perfect name for the shade that it is because it is a perfect espresso color. And then another one of my favorite shadows in makeup, this is Saddle. I love this shade. It's like a rich, orangey brown so beautiful just perfect on the outer corner it's rich it's got that warmth to it almost like an orangey undertone but it's just that just like almost like a caramely brown but saddle is the perfect name because like i just think of a saddle that's exactly what this is so such a classic if so far out of any of the shades my favorite so far would be saddle soft brown and nylon classic just just classic okay now we've got this like weird color but it's beautiful it's called these bags are designer this is like this yellowy color but it's so pretty even if you have on just like a normal neutral smoky eye like this and you pop this in the crease it's gonna warm it up a little bit and bring it to life it's such a great shade to add in with other shadows but it's just a beautiful like warm yellowy color, so pretty. I'm gonna hop down into the next row starting over here. We have red brick. This is a nice like reddish orangey color, more orange than red I would say, but it's that nice warm color that you can pop in and do like a an orange look with this, like if you wanted something more colorful, or you can add this into your neutral looks or your smoky looks just to add a kiss of something warm to the look if you feel like it's missing that. Highly recommend Red Brick. Red Brick's little sister is Rule. I feel like these three go together so perfectly. Rule is like a light orangey color. Again, you can use it the same way that I was explaining to do with Red Brick, just a nice pop in the crease, or you could do an all orangey look. It's just so beautiful and I highly recommend it. This is to me, these last three shades, I feel like are what can take any look to the warm side because I feel like MAC shadows definitely lean more on the cool side or the neutral side. If you need that extra pop to give it more warmth that you want, like more of a fall vibe, adding in one of these, even though they're straight up orange, they'll give you what you're looking for and what you're wanting if, if that's what you're wanting. Another favorite of mine is Embark. This is like one of the richest, chocolatiest browns. I think it's so beautiful. This is perfect for the outer corner. This is perfect for wing liner. It's not black. It definitely is brown, but it's like one of the darkest browns. This reminds me of Americano from Makeup Geek so much. They were basically the same shade, so this gives me extra butterflies. This is another one that I would say is one of my top favorite shades that goes really well with the other ones that I was talking about. Just beautiful, classic. I feel like this actually does have like almost a purpley undertone to it, but it's not very, it's not that noticeable. I love this shade. Next, I have Foley. I had Swiss chocolate, but Foley and Swiss chocolate are very similar. I should get Swiss chocolate because I think I liked that one better than this one. They're very, very similar, almost like a reddish undertoned chocolatey brown. 
so so beautiful i love this shade again perfect for the outer corner for a smoky eye all of these just work really well together okay so we did all of these i'm gonna hop down over here this one is a newer one from mac this was not available back in the day but i love this color it's called devoted to chili it's very similar to a color from anastasia and i can't remember the name but just like your warm rich kind of a color like this reminds me of like spaghetti sauce i love this this is beautiful to add in with your neutral sh neutral shades as well if you want more of like a burgundy in your look you could add this to the outer corner of like an all orangey look to add more of like just like a deeper red fiery kind of vibe so beautiful I, I love this palette because it's giving me fall vibes i know it's june but i love it i love it and then because i didn't have room in my cool palette i added these greens even though this should technically be added to like a colorful palette um i felt like it looked good here next to the oranges so next i have this one that i haven't used much of but it's so beautiful it's called i think i'm saying this right it's either joie de glitz or joy de glitz but i can't see it being joy i think it's joie de glitz um it's this sparkly green almost like a mossy green color so pretty oh i feel like this would be really pretty with like what i'm wearing right now just gorgeous i this all over the lid or this just popped in the center it's so pretty this is one of their newer formulas it's the dazzle D dazzle dazzle shadow extreme just stunning this is one that you could pop on with your finger one that emulates more of that foiled shadow kind of vibe um, but still a little drier it's not like your typical makeup geek foiled shadow or anastasia foiled shadow it is very unique and very very beautiful next to go with that is mo money mo problems this is a darker green color um very beautiful like evergreen rich green foresty vibes love this it pairs really nicely with that other one also the these bags are designer this yellow with this oh i'm getting you guys all excited for fall aren't i and then last but not least we have natural wilderness such a beautiful shade now that i've got this on camera and i'm looking at it it looks more yellow but in the pan it looks more green in comparison to everything else this is stunning especially for a green olivey look so beautiful i love the formula of this too i don't know if this is a powder kiss they have a matte formula and then they have a powder kiss formula i love both but the powder kiss is definitely more pigmented and i can't remember which one this one is and i'm having a hard time anyway love this shade it's so beautiful with those other green ones so that's everything in the warm palette let's move on to the cool tone palette most favorite so this is what the cool toned palette looks like so beautiful this just gives me all of the warm fuzzies all of the warm feels so let's pop right in the first shade that i have here is shroom this reminds me a lot of nylon it's not as intense as nylon and it's not as warm this is definitely more cool very icy beautiful for the inner corner beautiful for the brow bone and it's perfect for any cool toned eyeshadow look whether you're doing something more neutral or you're doing something more smoky next up i have this shade which is floof this is a very old school shadow it has almost like a pinky hue to it it reminds me a lot of shroom but a little bit more pinky so depending on the look that you're going for you might like one over the other um still like a very light white highlighty kind of color very classic and then we have a neutral shade i actually feel like i should mix this one with brulee i feel like i should swap them because this looks a little warm to me but this is a matte shade in the color grain this is like a matte beige shade again like a nice neutral if you want this on the lid if you want to highlight with this beautiful i feel like this is kind of like an afterthought sort of a color but when you need it you have it kind of thing but i don't think that you would need green if you had brulee you only need one of those kinds of colors. So depending on your skin tone and what you need, I would check online and read the undertones and read a little bit more in it if you're de deciding between the two, but. And then next, this is one, I remember doing an old makeup tutorial on this and um, before I even started this YouTube channel, it's, you can't find it, it's like no longer there, but um, this color is Expensive Pink from MAC. This reminds me a lot of all that glitters, but it has more pink to it. It's like that beigey, bronze but light and pink it's kind of hard to describe but i feel like you get the gist again that shimmery color perfect for all over the lid perfect for highlighting depending on what you're using it for this would be a great highlight shade for like an orangey look because it is more of that pinky orange 
hue, um, but would work alongside those shades. Now we've got some cool mattes. These are where I get really excited. So we have Omega up next. This is beautiful too if you have more blonde hair. This is amazing for your eyebrows to fill your eyebrows in with. Um, it is just a nice light neutral brown, pulls more gray. It's a great base for a smoky eye. It's just stunning and uh, it's a classic. Up next we have sandstone. It's very similar to Omega, just a little bit darker, maybe a little bit cooler. So beautiful, perfect for a matte smoky eye, perfect for a cool toned everyday look, just beautiful. And again, all of these are very similar where it's like, they're all like the same, but different, a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, you know the drill. I'm gonna hop down here next. We have charcoal brown, same thing. This one goes a little bit more neutral rather than cool, but I put in the cool tone palette because I'm more so gonna use this for cooler toned looks. Also would be beautiful in the eyebrows if you did a powder eyebrow, perfect for the outer corner, perfect for all of the same things. It's just a little bit darker than sandstone. Um, great for building up a smoky eye. Next we have Brune. This is so beautiful. This goes a lot more cool toned, great for a smoky eye. If you wanted like a smoky gray, sultry kind of look, this is perfect for that. So beautiful. Love this shade. It's great to build up any smoky eye. And then this one, I don't know if this is still available. I hope it is. I think it is. Yes, this is seen from MAC. This is, it almost looks blue in my palette because it is so cool toned. If you were doing a blue look, I feel like you could use this, but even if you're just doing your typical gray, black, purple sort of a look and you pop this in, it's really gonna make it look cool toned. It's not gonna look blue. It just cools it down and gives it that vibe that you're looking for. So this one is one of my top favorites. It's so beautiful and very unique because it does look like blue jeans, but it is very gray. This next one is a very loved favorite. You can kind of tell. Um, a classic, which I don't even know if they still have this one, but this is Cory. This is so beautiful. It's a muted gray, taupey purple. So stunning. This is one of those shade. This is one of those shades that looks so beautiful in like a mauvey look, a purple look. You can also just use this in your typical gray looks. One of my favorites because it does have that purple hue to it when you apply it. It is stunning. I love this. Again, it's a matte gray. So beautiful. Ooh, another one. I, I don't know if you can get this one. I, I don't think that you can. I'm gonna share it anyways. This is Blackberry from MAC. It is, I feel like I don't even need to describe it. It's just your true eggplanty purple. It's, and it's so beautiful on the eyes, you guys. This especially paired with Cory. It's so beautiful. I love, 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 love the shade. And it's, it's stunning. I love this. And then next we have Sketch from MAC, which looks a lot like Blackberry, just a little bit deeper. And it actually has a red reflect to it. You really can't tell. And I feel like you can't really tell on the eyes either, but it is very unique. I've never come across an eyeshadow like this. I don't know if this one is still available either, but this is a classic shade. I love it for smoky, smoky purple looks. It's stunning and it's just a classic nostalgic shade for me. Moving down, we have Trax from MAC, another classic MAC shade. This is a lighter purple with almost like this gold reflect to it. So beautiful. It kind of pulls like pinky as well because of that goldy orange reflect. So beautiful. I feel like I don't use this one as often as the other ones, but I need to because especially here as I'm sitting here looking at it, it is so beautiful. This is a newer one for me and I'm obsessed with this. MAC really did it with this formula. This is that powder kiss formula and this is the color P for potent. This looks like that M928 shade from Makeup Forever. If you've been here for years and years and years, that is one of my favorite eyeshadows and makeup, just that like true dark purple, like a grape shade. It's so stunning. It looks so beautiful on the eyes. You can use this for any type of purple look. I'm obsessed with this. So I highly recommend this one. Any of the powder kiss formula ones are just amazing. This is another gorgeous shade. This is nocturnal. This is a shimmery dark purple shade. It's very unique too. It almost has like a brighter hue to it, almost like a blue hue, but it doesn't go blue at all. It definitely goes more purple, but it has that more electric vibe to it. 
stunning works with all the other purple shades that i'm showing you this along with p p for potent would be beautiful again this is an older one in my collection so i don't know if it's still available and then this one is another one that would be so beautiful with p for potent this is deep damson so stunning just a rich 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 dark purple so beautiful would smoke up any look perfect perfect for any cool tone look honestly especially a purple one um just stunning i'm obsessed with this shade and then we're moving into more of the grays we've got this one here which is a classic this is night divine this is perfect for any gray smoky eye if you're doing a black smoky eye and you want that gray silvery look this is stunning all over the lid it's so beautiful it's very unique too i feel like a lot of grays go more cool like more icy where this stays more Again, it looks almost like blue jeans, but it doesn't look blue when you put it on your eye. It's so beautiful. And then next we've got my favorite, one of my favorites um, that I think everybody should get and everybody would like, and that's satin taupe. This is your perfect gray taupey color with a little bit of a purple hue to it. This is stunning. I have so many tutorials using this eyeshadow. It's just glorious i love this eyeshadow so much it's such a classic and it's been around for forever and now next down here sticking with the grays we've got print um i don't use this one a lot but again it's that like rich dark gray color perfect for grayed out smoky eyes this looks matte but it has a little bit of a silver reflect to it so i feel like you could use it in place of a matte shade um because it's more matte than shimmery but Again, beautiful for a cool tone smoky eye. Almost done, you guys. Next up, we have Graystone. I feel like that's like the perfect name for this. Again, a nice rich dark gray with a blue hue to it. It literally looks like blue jeans. Perfect for a gray, smoky, cool toned look. Love this color. Perfect for the other ones that go more blue genie, like the one that I showed before. And this one as well, I forgot the name, scene, and Night Divine. This paired with those would be perfect. And then last, but certainly not least, we have Give a Glam. This is a newer one to MAC as well. I believe this might be the Powder Kiss formula, I don't remember, but this goes more cool toned brown um, with a purple hue to it. It can be in place of black. Um, just a beautiful deep dark shade, perfect to make an eyeliner, perfect to smoke up anything, and it completes my cool tone palette. Another really good one for MAC if you want like a standard black eyeshadow is Carbon. I should get that and pop that in this palette because I don't have a black. I actually don't use black eyeshadow all that much because I don't go that smoky all that much, but if you are on the hunt for like the perfect black to add into your collection, I highly recommend Carbon. And with all of that being said, that is everything that is in my two MAC palettes. That's my MAC eyeshadow collection. So I hope that you guys liked this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what each shadow was, what the swatch looked like, and what my thoughts were. I do have quite a few favorites. I will link those down below along with everything else that I showed here. I'll list out the favorites specifically if you're a little overwhelmed because I know that this can be a little overwhelming seeing all of the shades together and not knowing what to do. But I highly recommend looking at the website and reading the undertones and knowing like that way you can figure out more so what's going to work best for your skin tone. So if you want more MAC videos, let me know down below in the comment section. Do you want MAC tutorials? Do you want more hauls? Whatever. Let me know. Um, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.